We're going to get started. So sorry about that, guys. But this is going to be so good. And I'm so excited for you guys to hear some success testimonies from host to post. All right. This is going to be huge. And you're going to recognize these girls' names because they have all been called on the family call as mass enrollers. All right. And so this is our third host post movement. And isn't it been amazing? Like, all, even I remember when we first started the host post movements. Um, like two months ago, I love all the different leaders that we have heard from, all the different content. And, you know, we've learned how, what to host post, different techniques and stuff like that. And when you truly dive into learning host to post and utilize it every single day to build your business, you will find massive success. And that's exactly what these girls have done. They have found massive success. And so I'm just going to give you kind of a little like intro of each of them, give you some stats of who you're going to be hearing from and how long they've been involved and all of their moments are coming from host posts. And then each of them are going to pour into you guys this morning. Okay. So listen, Amanda is a comeback queen. She enrolled February um, 11th. All right. And since February 11th, that's only 150 days ago, guys, she has enrolled 412 loyal customers from host to post. How insane is that? Okay. Sarah, Sarah has been enrolled since 311. That's 120 days. She has enrolled 143 loyal customers through host to post. And Essie has only been enrolled since April 9th, guys. So a little over exactly 90 days. And she's enrolled 193 loyal customers from host to post. Okay. So get ready to take notes because these girls definitely know what they're doing. They are mastering host to post and taking full advantage of it. And a lot of their success has to do with them host to posting. So I'm going to start with Amanda. I'm going to get you unmuted. Okay. So I'm going to start with Amanda. I'm so excited for you guys to hear from Amanda. Um, she is a comeback queen. I'm going to let her kind of just tell her story, but Amanda, why don't you just explain, you know, kind of your story, whether it works and kind of, um, you know, just the goal that, I mean, even the uh, accomplishments that you've achieved because of Hostipus this time around, I'll just let you explain. <laughs> so I joined in 2015. I actually joined February, 2015, the first time around as well. And um, I joined because I was drowning in student loans. I was drowning in debt and I was working three jobs and I was, came across on social media. I was like, wow, this opportunity looks amazing. I would love to be a part of this. So I ended up joining on a whim. Didn't really know what I was doing at all, but I kind of just dove completely in. And host of those wasn't really a thing. Like the first time around, it kind of towards like, I was in for like four and a half years the first time. It was the last year that I really started like diving into host of those. So the first time around, I remember I was announced on a family call for being a top enroller for um, loyal customers. And that month I enrolled literally 216 loyal customers for the cleanse. And I actually wasn't really taught host to post the first time around. I kind of came across it on Facebook. I saw one of my um, Facebook friends actually post a post for some, a different It Works distributor about the cleanse. And I was like, wow, this is extremely smart, like having other people post for you. So I just kind of took that before and after and played around with it. So that month I was like host to posting. I didn't really even know it was a thing. And I enrolled 216 loyal customers. And that was my first like big success with host to post where I started diving into it and seeing how amazing it was. So long story short, four and a half years in, I decided to walk away and I went to a different network marketing company for a few months and I just kind of dabbled in it. And I just realized it wasn't really for me. I wasn't really as excited about it. And my passion and everything, my heart was just leading me back to it works over and over and over again. And that's why I reached out to Lachelle and I had told her, I was like, listen, host to post is my jam. Like I'm, I am a master of host to post. Like I love it. It's what I literally enjoy so much doing. And so I told her once I start getting back into my rhythm of it, like I'm not going to stop host to posting. Like I'm going to just go all in with it. So from the jump, like as soon as I re-enrolled, I was host to posting like that very same day. And ever since then, I just haven't stopped doing it. So I went triple diamond in nine, my first 90 days on this team. I'm pushing very hard for presidential. Looks like it's going to be happening in the next couple of months, which is absolutely insane. Um, I went double diamond in two years my first time around. And this time, I think it took me like 60 days, Lachelle. I can't remember. 
you went, she went diamond and guys, and she is so true. Like when she came and reached out to me about re-enrolling, she was like, just so you know, I'm the host post queen. And I'm like, okay. Like, and she truly is the host post queen guys. Host post took her diamond in 30 days, double in 60 and triple in 90 days. How insane is that? Yes. And yeah. last time it took you two years to go double. Yeah, I, it took me two years to go double. And that's because host of post just wasn't around. So like I was just posting on my page and reaching out to people and it wasn't really a thing. So once I saw somebody else do it on Facebook, I was like, wow, that's extremely smart. Saw that post literally just blow up. I was like, let me try doing that. And that's when I was like, oh my God. And I started enrolling and then I just got into a rhythm of it and I enrolled 216 loyal customers. So this time around, I already knew that I was going to be host to posting like crazy. Yes. Okay. So being the host to host queen, are you, where are you host to posting? What are, and what are you host to posting? So I've been host posting about the Thermofight XX, and then I've been upselling the Skinny Brew with the Chalka Green. So I've been upselling, I would say like 50% of the time I get an upsell by, you know, the post is just about the Thermofight, but then in conversations with people, I'm actually going in and explaining the coffee and the Chalka Greens. And a lot of people are like, wow, I love coffee. That sounds really amazing. Like, let me try that as well. So I've been upselling the other products with the Thermofight, but I'm just sticking with and keeping it super simple with the thermo fight. So that's what I'm doing. Um, when I first jumped back in, so I was never huge on Facebook. Like it just wasn't really taught my first time around. So I was kind of all Instagram, like my first four and a half years. So when I came back, all I was doing was host to posting on Instagram. So Lachelle actually had me do a training on host to posting on Instagram because our entire team basically hosts to post on Facebook. So I was doing it on Instagram. I was doing the exact same thing everybody else was doing. I was just doing it on Instagram. And I have like 28,000 followers on Instagram. So my network is extremely big on there. So that's why I always kind of stuck it, stuck it with Instagram. But lately, what I've been doing is I'm like, I, I'm loving Facebook lately. It's like, I don't know. It's just like being on this team. We're all just connected on Facebook. So I have been actually bringing people from my network on Instagram to Facebook and having them host a post for me on there. And then also, um, I can actually add them in twice, like into our giveaways twice, like they'll get two entries if they post both on Facebook and on Instagram. So people actually have very different markets, like on different social media. So I've been getting customers from Instagram, then I've been getting customers from Facebook because all they have to do is put up the posts on both like twice and they get entered twice into our giveaway. And I'm also gaining customers from both Instagram and Facebook. But Lately, I've been trying to get people on my Facebook because I'm trying to work Facebook more than Instagram. So I've been just bringing everybody to my Facebook. I, okay, so I, and I, this is something that I love about her, guys, is that, so there is truly, and you guys have heard this throughout the trainings already, but like there is a, like you can just, there's no way to not have somebody host post you, for you. Like there are so many ways to get people to host post for you, whether it's a post where they're dropping a comment or if you're reaching out and you're messaging, but something that I love about your process of post posts, and I'm just going to like give you a, a hint of direction, but it's like when you have host a posters post, you even have their commenters host posts, every loyal customer, stuff like that. Why don't you just talk about the process of how like you're never, you never don't have somebody to host post for you. Yeah, I get host posts up every single day and it's honestly without even trying all that much at this point. So in the beginning, when I first rejoined, I was asking people, I was posting about the giveaway on my feed. And then I was also asking people personally um, over DMs or private message on Facebook and asking them to host a post for me. But now I don't even have to do that because I'm in so many conversations with people where I don't even need to ask. If I ever feel like I'm in a dry spell, I will post about the giveaway on my page. But besides that, like I am constantly in conversations with people because I have all of my loyal customers post for me constantly. As soon as somebody orders, I ask them if they want to be entered into my giveaway. Um, if I'm talking to people um, through Messenger and they kind of just like leave me on red or they're just, they can't order right now, they can order down the line. If they're a potential customer, if they're a potential distributor, as long as I'm in conversation with them, I'm asking them to host a post. So even if they're not ready to order right now, or if they're not ready to join my team right now, I'm still asking them to host a post. And a lot of the times I found that people who were maybe interested in that product, I will have them post about that same product. They'll see other people comment on it and they'll be like, you know what? I'm actually going to, I'm, I'm going to try it too, because they see other people want it. Same thing if I'm getting a potential distributor and they're just not ready right now or they're nervous and they see 20 people comment on their posts that gives them a sign like, okay, maybe I should do this because my network is pretty amazing. 
I can be making the money with this. And it's a great way for you to sign your customers and your and all of your potential distributors just from having them host a post for you. But every single loyal customer I sign, I ask them to host a post. And 99% of the time they say yes. So they will order and then they will host a post for me and then I'll get more potentials and then I'll have them host a post for me. Then I'll get more customers and then I'll have them host a post for me. So it's just a cycle where there's never a time where I'm not getting host posts up. And that's just from me in the beginning asking people. And then the cycle just keeps going and going and going. Um, how many host posts do you think that you do a day? Oh my gosh. The other day I got over 200 in one day. And I was like, I think I texted you and I was just like, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I was like, I got too many up. I went a little bit too insane. Um, I teach my team. The goal is 10 a day. Like that's my minimum. I will always get up more. I'm usually getting up probably 30 a day, to be honest, but 10 is my goal where I've just found that as long as you're getting 10 up, you're gaining potentials, you're gaining, you know, clients. It's just a great way for you to be growing your business. So I always set that as my minimum, but I always just do more. Sometimes guys, she just does so, so, so many. It's absolutely insane. You know, she has techniques of like word board and everything else to keep her super, super organized through that entire process. And you hear those huge numbers, like it, there's definitely organization behind that. Um, so, you know, you have truly shattered your glass ceilings this time around, like going triple guys, watching her go triple was just like such a humbling thing, just because, you know, when she first reached out to me and she had said that she was a double diamond and, and she was a master of host to post. And this time around, I have truly seen her completely take advantage, utilize host to post every single day in her business. And, you know, since it wasn't around then and it is around now, success leaves clues, you know, success leaves clues. And this is what's working for all of these girls. But for you, Amanda, I just want to speak grace over the fact of like, you are achieving so much this round and she is going presidential in the fourth quarter of this year, guys. And would you say that host to post is going to take you there? Oh yeah. That's the only way. That's the, that's the only way. And it's the only reason why I got as far as I did so quickly. Like, there's no way that I would be triple diamond right now if I wasn't hosted posting. The majority of my distributors and I would say probably like 98% of my customers are coming from host to post. So it's truly am amazing. And if you're not utilizing it, you're doing something wrong. It's just, it's just amazing. And we have had so much great information again on these host post movements and if you have here's what I've even told myself a few times if I have missed any of these trainings I am going back to watch them thank you so much Amanda and let me just so add two off of Amanda guys so something that I love about her story is that she is a comeback all right and she when she came back she went right into host post Okay, so whether you're a brand new distributor, whether you're working on a next rank, or I mean anything, you start at host to post. This morning, I feel like I'm a comeback queen in a sense, or a comeback and just come back in general. I opened my 2.0 account, guys, and when when you restart, when you go ambassador, you have the opportunity to open a 2.0 account. And I just did a training last night, and I just wanted to speak this over you guys. You know it's the same feeling of like, where do I start? And I know for certain that I have to just start by host post. That's how I start my 2.0 account is diving right into host post. Okay. So let's go to Sarah. This is going to be so good. I can't wait for you guys to listen to Sarah. All right. Something that's so awesome about Sarah's, um, just, uh, journey so far. Uh oh, she frozen more technical difficulties. Oh no, you're here. Okay. guys. <laughs> okay. All right. So something about Sarah. So Sarah has, we have been a Facebook friends for like years. Okay. And Sarah was actually one of my host of posters. She had host a post for me multiple times. All right. And so she started as a host poster. And I think that I have you host a post before. Um, definitely TFX. I maybe the cleanse, uh, hair, skin and nails, I think. Yep. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Hair, skin, and nails host to post turned her, she posted it for me, okay? Turned her into a hair, skin, nails oil customer of mine, okay? And then I had her, I think, host to post again for hair, skin, and nails or something because her results from hair, skin, and nails were amazing. She was absolutely loving the product. Like, she was, like, one of those, like, VIP loyal customers that, like, take before and afters and send them to you. And I was, like, showing my potentials, like, look at her hair. And, and I introduced the opportunity to her because I was – constantly I can literally remember the first little customer I got from one of your host posts and it was Tracy <laughs> and it's like I um she just yep. she, she has the entire process but when I asked her about it I was like listen I'm enrolling loyal customers for every single time that you post for me you are loving the products 
would you be open to the opportunity? And so she has been enrolled for 90 days, guys. As a brand new distributor, she just went diamond last month. And um, like I said, 143 loyal customers. We call her the coffee queen. <laughs> She's like the local coffee dealer. This lady is literally the coffee dealer. And you get right into coffee host posts and that's just like your jam. So why don't you just kind of like give your story of like, how I suppose like you know that it's been a big part of joining and everything else and what's your perspective on it and just go for it and then I have a couple questions for you in between <laughs> uh-oh she has moved into a new house guys so I don't know if her that's why all of her technical difficulties were happening there are you there I'm back. Ah. Yeah, Absol said has ever started. You you are all but then I saw all of us I'm right here. You're here. I'm right here. Good. I'm here. Okay. Right. Okay. So when I uh, when I started, <laughs> sorry, when I started, um, I was so nervous because I didn't know what the heck I was doing, just like anybody else that starts. Um, but Michelle really showed me that. All of the scripts are out there that you can use to be able to do these host to posts and it's like jumping right in and being able to talk to customers without really knowing the background of the company and and the process it's just all right there for you and the one that i really grabbed onto was coffee because i like coffee and i know probably 90 percent of the world likes coffee and it's simple because you replace it with the other one so when i found these scripts i just went with it and i found people that are willing to put up the host of posts for you. And just like Amanda said, they might not want to buy from you, but as soon as they put it up and they get the 20 comments, they're like, um, maybe, yeah, maybe I do want to have this product. And um, the other thing that I do anytime that I comment back to somebody who has um, commented on the host of posts, um, if they have questions, I make sure I show them my personal results. Yeah, it might be a little uncomfortable to give some random stranger like my my pictures of myself, but it makes them go, wow, this stuff really does work. Um, the other thing that I always make sure I do like Amanda, anybody that likes my com or likes a comment on a host to post or comments on it, I give them the opportunity to do the same thing. Will you want to throw up a post for me and I'll enter you in a drawing for free money? You don't have to buy anything. But same thing they end up coming back and being a customer um anybody that has ordered from me as well i make sure that i offer them the opportunity to get into the drawing and then they can use their personal experience on the post with their friends hey i just ordered and then their friends are going to be like well if you order i'm going to order people want what people have already it makes them excited um one of the biggest things that i do with the scripts though uh, i take it just as it is but then i tweak it to be like me and how I talk and I like to be a little bit more personable with my customers to make them feel like I'm talking to them and they're not just a number. It's super, super important to do that. Um, even just motivating them. If they say, you know, I'm, I want to lose 15 pounds. I say, that's a great goal. This is going to help you on your way. Um, it just really helps out to be personable. Um, the, no. Right, no, you're very personal. And somebody asked in the chat what the coffee host post is. And Amber Torres just put it in the chat for you guys. That's the coffee host post that we use. Um, so, okay. So Sarah too. So you dove right into coffee. Coffee is so easy. Everybody drinks it. Just like you said, where have, cause you just talked about this yesterday. Where are you finding a lot of success when it comes to, um, you know, well, I mean, the age thing. You have found a lot of coffee hosts with success because somebody said, how do you get a host post with 20 comments? I would love for you to talk about kind of your market. It is, um, it's something I never thought would happen. Majority, probably 80 to 90% of my customers are 35 and over, 40 and over. Um, it's the, you know, baby boomers that or their kids are gone and they're like, well, now I can start focusing on me more and they want to feel better and look better and um, all of their friends are into that too. So it's like, as soon as they put it up there, 20, 25 of their friends are like, heck yeah, I want in on that too. So it just kind of makes it a little bit more simple to connect. Um, I also make sure that anybody that 
does comment or likes, I add them. The biggest thing that you can do to get more host to posts out there, because a lot of times you'll find the same people want to host posts for you. Well, I really only host post coffee, so I can't have those same people putting the coffee post up, you know, over and over again. So expanding your network and being able to grab all these different people from their networks really allows you to um, get a lot more out there and a lot more exposure. Yes. And so I just love that when she was saying yesterday, she was just like a lot of my loyal customers are 35 and up, you know, and, and, uh, and not an older generation, but I guess the baby boomers, right? And you have to think about this, guys. Like, I get so excited when I do have somebody of an older, like, not sounding even old, I'm turning 30 this year, but like 30 to 40, it's like, they are, we're all about the coffee. Like, we don't have that young energy anymore. Like, we need all of the caffeine. And I also look at it as like, you know, it's like, I just started watching QVC, this sounds so silly, but I almost feel like, um, older generations, baby boomers, compared to millennials, they are they want to buy things. <laughs> they want to buy things. Millennials, almost, it's not that they don't want to, but we're just still, some, a lot of people might be a little young still that are like, you know, they can only afford so much based on going into adulthood and like knowing budgets and stuff like that. So I just love that you kind of do target market um, 40 and up, and that's such a huge market yeah. to take advantage of, and you're taking full advantage of that and they're all caffeinated <laughs> okay so how many host posts do you think you do a day um when i when i am 100 percent on and like lachelle said i i've been moving and it's been chaos so i've been a little off but when i'm on i usually try to get anywhere between 40 to 60 a week um if not more but that's my goal to get that much up if i can get you know 15 to 20 a day i feel great because I know every time I open up my phone, I've got customers that I'm going to be talking to and selling the product to. And so I would love for you to talk about that process really quick, because she is a mom of two. She is a wife. They just recently bought their, um, their I, think, I think this is like your dream home, truly, right? Yeah. And you are busy though. Like she has been so chaotic. I mean, I know some days where she has sent me like pictures of her like uh, sanding the floor <laughs> of her new home, but then I'll look in E-Suite and she's still enrolled six customers. So why don't you talk to us about the process of just like kind of being very intentional with your time and sticking host to post in into your day and maybe even what that looks like. Like if you have a specific like get them up this time, do this, do this, like whatever it looks like. Yeah, um, I always make sure I get up early and I respond to the people that I responded to at 11 o'clock last night. Um, I am a morning and late owl. I wake up usually around five, get my stuff in before I got to get my kids up and ready and to work by eight. Um, on my lunch breaks or any time that I have, you know, five minutes, I'll respond to somebody um, or throw up an extra post about an additional host to post, you know, opportunity. Um, nighttime is the biggest one. It's, it's bittersweet in a way because I'm home with my kids and they see me on my phone and my 11 year old, she's always, you well, mom, you're on your phone. I said, and I explained it to her. Well, yeah, I know I'm on my phone, but we just bought this big house and we have lots of things that we want to do to it. And I want to give you guys what you want. Um, and she understands it that way. And especially when, you know, I show her um, what we're able to get with that stuff. You know, I just bought all of the ceiling fans for the house. So it's like, it, it, it's a, uh, it's, I feel guilty sometimes in a way that I am taking away from my family time, but I'm giving my family more than the time is taken away. Yeah. Um, my time is the biggest one uh, from the time they go to bed at like 930. I'm up till midnight, one o'clock every single night. And then I wake up at five again. I have found hot spots in a day too. Usually you'll find your hot spots um, with my, um, Oh, what is it? My crowd that I go after the 40 and up usually anywhere between two and five. And then again, between the hours of eight and 11. Um, so I always make sure I'm on at some point in those hot spot times. I like that you said that, that hot spot times. Yeah. And it's almost like you got to think about it too. Like, I mean, what does people's lives look like? Like that's when they're on their phone. I love that you like have acknowledged that process of just like being intentional with your time. Okay. So guys, again, she has never done network marketing and host supposed to grow all the way to diamond. And so I, I love something that you said yesterday about like, you're not gonna stop to you at the top and what's gonna take you there? What do you think is gonna take you there? Say that one more time, I'm sorry, it kind of cut what out. What do you think is gonna take you to the top? You're gonna host post all the way to the top? 
Absolutely. That's the only thing that I do. 98% of my customers are from host to post. Um, yeah. The other thing, show your results. Yeah, it might be uncomfortable, but they will, people want to see what is happening for you. And if you're not showing them what's happening for you, they're not going to want to buy it. People want what's working for you and they want to know that it really does work and it does. Living proof. And one other thing that I just want you to touch on it because it's like, she is the coffee queen. We always see this because she only sticks to coffee host post guys. And she on her page, like it is coffee queen. Like she is posting about the coffee every single day. And, um, you know, adding people to your network and stuff is so important to make sure that, you know, whatever product that you're hosting, posting about that they are seeing you using it because you got to think about this when people buy from anybody don't you go to their page like if you I'm sure the, the majority of us have purchased through Facebook you know I that's where I have found like my makeup gals and stuff like that but I go to their page and I have to see them using it in order for me to buy it and so just I would just love for you to speak over I know it's already been talked through this host post training um but kind of like if you have a coffee cup in your hand you post about it and what is your like mentality around that like making sure that you have pictures for like screen overlays and stuff like that like can you just talk about your product yeah I don't do anything special because I'm not really tech savvy yet I, yet is my big word I'm going to learn it but yet I just make sure it's you know it, it's real life stuff you know I I make sure it's with me with my kids with my little guy in the background terrorizing my house you know it's, it's the real life stuff and I always make sure people know I love this coffee because it's so quick and easy to do. It's not like you have to sit there and watch your coffee be made and um, wait to be able to drink it to be able to start your day. It's, it's right now, you have it, you're ready to go, you can have the energy, um, and it just, it just works. Uh, the whole entire process from start to finish of host to posting, selling, being the product of the product, it, the whole process works as long as you do it. It's not going to just happen for you. you got to put the work in, and that's the biggest, biggest thing. And she just dove right in, guys. Again, she's never done network marketing. Um, this is another reason why you also want to, I just want to touch on this really quick. Thank you so much, Sarah. Um, yeah. I want to touch on this is that like host to post truly is a way that you can work all aspects of this business. Not only are you enrolling loyal customers, but obviously your loyal customers are your best potentials for distributorship. And it's one of the things where it's like, you know, if somebody has a post that blows up, you're able to offer them the opportunity because clearly there's so much potential in their network for this product. And so she is like the perfect example of host to poster turned into LC, turned into distributor. And it's just one of those things where I'm telling you, it's always, it's host to post is the avenue that you can work these this business on both sides and to make sure that you value your host to posters just as much as you value a loyal customer or distributor, because I valued Sarah and every single host post that she ever put up for me. And look what happened. She ended up joining. She ended up, and now she has massive success from where I found her through host posts. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Okay, Essie, Essie, my girl. Okay, I just asked you to unmute, guys. I just want to repeat this number to you guys really quick. Um, you guys, she enrolled April 9th. <laughs> She's only been in for 90 days. She went double diamond in 30 days. Okay. She had also never done any network marketing prior to this guys. And, um, I, the first thing I just want you to start on talking about and cause just cause Essie has such a powerful voice. Get ready guys. All right. Um, when I asked her, when I was getting to know her in the very beginning and I was like, what is your, cause I remember seeing me sweet and I'm like, who is this Essie girl? It would just went so, so quick. I mean, double and 30 days guys. Yeah. And when I asked her, I said, what motivates you? What's your why? She didn't even let me stop talking. Thanks for letting me stop this time. <laughs> but what motivates you to work so hard? Let's start with that. Okay. Well, like Lachelle said, my name is S.C. Arrington. Um, I have been in a business a little over 90 days. And what motivates me is my family, like family and God that literally motivates me. I'm a mother of four boys and been married to my husband now going on 15 years, been knowing him for over 20 years together. So yes, family and God is a big part of my life. It truly is. And she has four boys, guys. And so when she was just like, I will do anything for my family, like she was just like so on it. 
She is such a supportive partner. Her husband, Shannon, is amazing as well. And they are just truly all about their family. And so I, I want to ask you this too. So, you know, being completely just blind to network marketing in general, but when you joined, you know, you were exposed to the training of host posts and you dove right in. And so why don't you just kind of give everybody just kind of a view of like when you found host posts and what you decided to do with it? Okay. Well, um, like Lachelle said, I've never been in like sales or marketing anything. I've never even been a big social media person. I've always been private. So never had a big, you know, following or anything like that. So when I started the business, I literally dove right into the host of hosts. Like literally, I wasn't really trained too much on it. You know, um, my leader who is Shari, she literally gave it to me and I just took off running with it. Like head down, going. And um, the biggest host of posts I like to use is the TFX, which is the Thermal Fighting XX. That is my jam. <laughs> That's my go-to. Like, I have so many customers off that. And like Amanda said, I like the upsell too. So what I do, I do the TFX, host the post. And then when I get a customer that's interested, I always upsell the cleanse. I always like to tell my customer, hey, let's do the cleanse. Let's get your body prepared. Let's remove all the bad stuff we've been putting in our body. And then let's start fresh with the Thermal Fighting X. So that is what I dove into. And it's been paying off so much. Um, I believe my third, no, the second month in, I literally signed 91 customers off my host of hosts. And it's just off Facebook, not Instagram or anything like that. It's just off Facebook, adding new network, new people to putting up my host to post. And that's all I've been doing. Yes, guys. And so I, I haven't ever asked you this, but I just know from when I've called or when I've texted and stuff like that, do you, and do you get your potentials on the phone? Mm -hmm. Is that like an every time thing? Yes, every time. So that's what I do. So let me explain that. I'm glad you brought that up, Michelle. So with my LCs, I don't send my website link. I never do. You know, when they tell me they're interested, you know, I inbox them and I say, hey, this product is amazing. I love it. You know, I send them before and after photos. And if they tell me they're interested, I don't send any scripts. I literally voice message them to let them hear my voice and to make them feel comfortable. And I let them know, hey, give me a call. Here's my cell number. Let's go ahead and get you started. And I kid you not, they call me. A lot of the times they be kind of, you know, afraid to give me their card information. But once they talk to me and we become personal and I tell them my experience and how the product work, I take their order phone. The reason I do that is because a lot of times when you give customers your website link, they either forget to go on the web to go ahead and purchase or they wait to the last minute or they don't know how to do it. They're confused. So I like to just get them over the phone to just explain everything to them about the 90 days, about your car being charged automatically on the same day each month, and just answer any questions that they have, and it just makes it so much simple for them. You have, you're just so graceful with your words, and like, again, guys, hear this out, because here's, I'm afraid to get on the phone. <laughs> I mean, I have, I have enrolled customers through the phone and those are the ones that are like, can I call you? And I'm like, okay, I'm scared. Like I get kind of nervous, but you know, she, she truly learned host to post and just by learning all the, like just looking around on it, learning it, she has been comfortable since day one of like learning it to be able to get on the phone with people because you can't yes. say wrong thing to the right person, but she also is so calm through the entire process. Now, knowing yes. numbers and knowing how fast that she's gone, there have been, I mean, I've seen her on trainings where she, her, her picture is always on, but I just see her here. Then I see her here. Then I see her here. It's like yes. she will enroll six loyal customers on a training. And it is that process. And you might think that like she's on the phone a lot, but like, I mean, look, she's able to upsell and you probably have gotten it down so well that you can probably just get one out in five minutes. But it's like, instead of spending two days through a message, she can get them on the phone and close them out in five minutes. And it, it actually takes less time. Okay, yeah. so kind of um, how many do you do a day? And kind of just give us any type of process of, you know, how you're getting your host of posters or just anything along those lines. Okay, so in my day, um, like I said, I have four kids. I have a 17-year-old, um, a 15-year-old, a 12-year-old, and an 11-month-old baby. And he literally needs all my time. <laughs> 
And like Sarah said, I'm literally so busy. I get up in the morning, you know, I start my day. I put up my first thing I put up is my morning prayer. And then an hour later, I put up my first host to post. Once I put that up, I just, you know, I see how it goes. Because sometimes with certain host to post, you don't get a lot of comments. So I literally leave it up for maybe 10 minutes. And if I don't have more than five comments on it, I take it down and I restart up. Because what you have to realize with host to post, you don't have to make it difficult. Don't overthink it. Don't say, oh, man. Maybe I'll do this today. No, make it simple because with your lawyer or potential customers or the people that's going to put up your host to post, they're going to bypass it. If it's a long thing or is it something they got to work for or a type a lot, they're not going to do it. So I like to do like, hey, what's your birthday month? What's your zodiac sign? Or, you know, what's your favorite color? Or how many kids do you have? Something simple where they can just go in and put it and go. And you can just go ahead and comment back to them. So I like to do that with them. And then once that host to post get the going, and if it takes off, I leave that one up sometimes for days because one of my hosts to post literally got 150 comments on it. And then one of another thing I like to do too is when a person is interested in putting up a host to post, I like to go on their page and I like to see their activity on their page. If they have a lot of, you know, followers and if they have a lot of followers, like five, like 5,000 or more, I literally give them a host to post opportunity post to put up for me, or I give them a giveaway post. And one time I gave this young lady a giveaway post. And when I tell you the comments got up to 400 comments just because she had a big following that I was overwhelmed. But at the same time, I was like, thank you, God. I got this. I pray for this blessing. So let me not be overwhelmed and just accept it and run off with it. Sometimes you will be overwhelmed. Just, just think like it's your blessing. Hey, God's blessed you today. And you got this opportunity. So just take it and run with it. And take your time. Don't rush it. Don't be like, oh my God, I got to hurry up, get back to them, or they're not going to respond. No, they will respond. They see all the other comments. It's going to take time. So just think of it as a blessing and just enjoy it. I love you so much. I just love it. Okay. So, and so you, oh my gosh, I love that you just said that, guys. If you ever, you know, host of post truly is a power of numbers when it comes to getting them up. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, that's just what it is. Cause I can tell you that there'll be days and we are all the same. Have we all done host to post that has gotten absolutely no comments or we feel like there's some days that are just so dry and we're like, ah, oh, what's happening? But we, there gets, if you understand that, like you gotta sometimes, it's like no different than going through the nose to get the yes, all right? Yes. You have to go through the host to post of no comments to get the one that completely blows up. And it is all a power of numbers or there is a hotspot time. There are like little things that you just want to be aware of. But we can tell with all three of us is that it's, it's not all three of us, all three of you that they are doing mass quantities, which are yes. giving them mass results. And so why don't you, um, where did you, cause I just want to just keep highlighting this about you really quick because guys, like you guys heard that, like she just dove into host post and look at the massive success that she's been able to accomplish because of that. Um, where did you like, you know, how did you figure that out? Cause I didn't teach you, like, I know that you kind of got into host post, but where did you see like the power of numbers? Like just kind of explaining it outside of learning it through the business. Okay. Far as the power of numbers, I just, I'm real big on just faith. I have to say that, I, you know, a lot of people don't like me talking about it, but I'm real big on faith. So, you know, I like to pray before I start my business and I say, Lord, you know, open my ears up to what you want me to do, you know, open my eyes up to what you want me to put out there to the people and what they want to hear. And when I do that, you know, I just put my head down and I go in, you know, and I like to just reach out to different people every day. You know, I like to, another thing is you have to build your network because like Amanda said, it's sometimes it's the same people that comment on your host of posts and want to put up the host of posts. So you have to build your network. So what I do on a daily basis, I go and add at least 10 to 20 new friends every single day. And sometimes I will even go to someone's page, like my husband, he's my go-to. I go to his page and I have all his friends list. <laughs> and I kid you not, those are my biggest, you know, LCs that buy from me, you know, and put up my host to post. And you just got to keep your network growing. Never stop adding new LCs or new potentials or new DTs. You have to keep the network going. Even if you have to delete some people off your, you know, you're following and just add new fresh faces because that's how your numbers are going to increase. That's how I get my numbers to grow. 
Last question for you, and then I'll close us all out. But um, so, you know, she has four boys, guys, and her <laughs> life is crazy. You heard the age differences, all right? With all different generations that she's dealing with daily on top of a husband um, and just being, you know, having a home and being a wife, all the things, right? So, yes. you know, people are busy. I know that some of us on this Zoom right now, you might think that you're busy. When I she was over at my house and she had her whole family over here, she was so busy, 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 busy. But how, so how, what would you tell somebody that has a lot on their plate um, or even giving them an example of what your day kind of looks like if you do have to section out times and stuff like that? What does that look like with four boys? Well, with me, it's very chaotic. <laughs> it's very busy because I have an 11 month old and um, I'm still nursing and is he needs all my time. So like I said, I get up in the morning and I just, you know, start with prayer. I get him fed first, you know, get him situated. I put up my first host to post. Then I take a break from that. You know, I prepare breakfast for my family. After I prepare breakfast and get them settled back in, and then I'll go up and put up an opportunity post. I always like to, you know, spread it out. And then after I put my opportunity post up, I'll take another break. I'll get their lunch together and do everything. Because like I said, it's on your time. You're your own boss. Don't never stress over anything in this business. Take your time. Don't worry about nothing. And that's what I like to do. I pace myself. And once I put up the opportunity post, I'll come back and I'll check my host of posts. I'll respond to people and, you know, do what I need to do. And by the end of the day, I'm already then respond to like 50 or 60 people because I'm, you know, talking to them as the day go on. And then at night, I'm up literally from maybe after I put the baby down from eight at night until like one or two in the morning, just working nonstop, putting host to post up, responding back to people. Because some reason, since, you know, everyone's been off work and being home, a lot of people are up really late at night. And that's the time where you can communicate with everyone and get host to post up. Literally, when I go to bed, I put one host to post up before I go to bed. And when I wake up, I already have comments that's waiting on me and that I can respond back to them right away. So that's just my day. Just take your time. Don't rush anything. Yes. Okay. So you guys, thank you guys, the three of you so much. And I hope that you guys, everybody, everybody that you heard today, guys, these three ladies have truly, that's all they do is host to post. You, you have learned over the last, um, six days, seven days, how many days? And the last two movements prior to this, like you've learned how, what wording, just techniques to stay organized, whether it's a coffee host, post hair, skin and nails, like Instagram, Facebook, you have heard all of the ways to do host posts. You have the exact same access to as everybody else does. And these three ladies, they have dove into host posts, mastered it. They have found massive success because of it. And it's going to take them to the next rank and the next rank and the next rank. Um, Essie is working on a huge goal this month, getting her husband's account to diamond. And she is truly only host to posting. And I'm watching her truly host to post her husband's account all the way to diamond. And yeah. that's all it is, guys. It's success leaves clues. You, you have access to everything host to post, everything that you need to do. It is up to you to do it. These three ladies have just decided to do it and do it to such an abundant amount that they're receiving a crazy amount of abundance. It's insane. Yeah. So all you have to do is do it. So the last thing I just wanted to end you guys on today, I'm so proud of the three of you. You guys inspire me every single day. All of them enroll more than me. All right. And, and it's truly has something to do with their will. And so I just wanted to speak what I see as their upline. Um, when I think about watching them and just watching how much they're able to do and their lives all look differently. Okay. But they all have will. All right will. They are willing to do what it takes. They are willing to stay up later. They are willing to do more than just 10. They are willing to continue to learn. They are never stopped. Like there are new things all the time that's coming with host posts. I mean, I don't even, I don't remember if I, maybe I, I don't remember who I taught or if it was, but I know for Sarah, it's like, I had to teach her how to save two collections. I mean, I don't know if I taught you that too, but it's like, there's, there's little things that you can always be learning to if you're going to be producing that much through host posts to make yourself organized, to stay organized. So it doesn't sound so crazy. And these numbers are not overwhelming and it all just comes down to a system and they've all created that system, but they are willing to stick to something that also just works. 
post to post just works. There's so many different ways. It can evolve in so many different ways, but they're just willing to not stop no matter what. Day in and day out, they are host to posting, and that is why they have found the massive success that they have found. I am seriously so proud of you guys. You guys inspire me. I know this entire chat has been blowing up. <laughs> Um, and thank you guys so much. This recording will be uploaded and I hope that you guys enjoy today's training. We have Spanish the next couple of days and then also guys, all of the recordings, if you have missed out, all right, because I've been recently, a lot of people have asked me, if you are inspired by these ladies and you're like, okay, I got to dive in and I need to learn everything I need to know about host posts. I want to know it all. Go get a pen and a paper and go to the It Works YouTube. It has every single host post training from the last three host post movements. It has so many goods. Some topics are, re are repetitive, but they're by different leaders. And that's even more worthy because everybody does a little thing, everything a little bit differently. And I would absolutely going into the fourth quarter of this year and setting yourself up for 2000. 2021, you should know the ins, outs, upside down and backwards have how host posts work because it will give you massive results and massive success. I am so proud of you guys. Thank you so much for being on today. Bye everyone.